Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to be making a paracord bracelet. Now some of you saw this bracelet in one of my earlier videos and you've been asking me how do you make one? Well, I have to tell you honestly, I didn't tell you how to make one right away because I personally didn't know how to make one. However, the other day I was at Joann's Fabrics and they had paracord. So I picked it up, started playing with it, and now I know how to teach you how to make one. So I'm going to teach you. Now the first thing you're going to need, of course, is paracord. Now what paracord is, is it's parachute material. It's a, it's a cord that they use for parachutes and they use it in um, mountain climbing. They also use it in camping. These are also known as survival bracelets because the thing about it is that there's supposed to be enough of the cord in this that if you got into a sticky situation out in the woods, you could literally unravel your bracelet and you could use it to save your life. Make a tarp into like a lean-to or a tent. There's supposedly all kinds of different things that you could do with it. For me, as a party planner, it would be enough cord to hang up a pinata. So for me, it's a survival bracelet too. Okay, what you're going to need is paracord. It comes in two different weights that I know of. One is 550, which is what I'm going to be using today. And that means that it has a pull strength of 550 pounds, which is pretty big, pretty big, pretty good. And then there's also another kind, it's 325. Now I like the 325 because it's thinner and it's a little bit more malleable, but I'm going to be showing you how to use the 550. Now, the most important thing that you're going to need for this is you're going to need a, a doorknob or a handle or something that you can attach your cord to to hold it while you're working on it. Very, very important. So if you've got a doorknob, that's excellent, or, or a pool on a, a drawer, anything like that, it's great. Okay, measuring. This is the most important part, and I know you guys don't like when I give you a math class, but this is really important. First thing you have to do is measure your wrist. Now when I measure my wrist, it's seven inches, okay? So you want to take that length, seven inches, and add three inches to that, which is going to give me 10. Now you want to multiply that by two. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's going to be the length of the cord that is going to be my tie-off cord. So that is this cord right here, 20 inches long, okay? So it's your wrist plus three times two. That I'm going to put right on here. See, I've wrapped it around just like that. It's even on the bottom. Now, the weaving cord, the cord that is going to make your ladder here, this needs to be three times this cord, the wrist cord. Three times the total wrist cord length. So this is 20 inches. Three times 20 is 60. I know. It's a lot of cord, but like I said, this piece of rope could save your life or hang a pinata, one or the other. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I got my 60 inches and I got my 20 inches. Take my 60 inch piece and I'm going to slide it up here and I'm going to tie a basic simple knot. Ready? Basic simple knot. And I'm going to do it pretty tight up against here and pull. Now, what's really great is this slips up and down. So I'm going to slip it about to there. All right, now, how to explain this? This is a little tricky, so I'm going to simplify it down as best I can. If it seems a little too simplistic for you, I apologize. But for me, I need knots made very, very simple in terms that I can understand. So this is how I explain it. Let's think of this as your head, and this is your body. Okay, so you got your head and your body. Your body is never going to move. It's just going to stay straight up and down with the head there, body here. All right, never touch these, basically. These are your arms. You got your left arm and your right arm. This arm is always going to cross. This arm is always going to tie. So you've got a crossing arm and you've got a tying arm. Just remember that, crossing arm, tying arm. Okay, here we go. When I say crossing, what I mean is we're going to take this right string, we are going to cross it over the body. See, it almost makes like the letter P here. Now, I'm going over. So that means that I want my other arm to go over. See how that's over top now? 
Now I take the bottom part here and I'm going to give my body a hug basically. So to do that, I need to put this end up through this hole and pull it under and pull it up. Okay, and that's my first stitch. So I went over. Now I put my body arms down here. My body's straight, my arm's straight. Okay, this time we're gonna go under. So I go under the body with my arm. And now this one is going to go under as well. Gonna hug the body. So I'm going over to hug the body. See that? And it makes like a pretzel. Do you see that pretzel? Pull the pretzel up. And that's it. That is your stitch. Two stitches makes the entire thing. Okay, now we go back to the beginning. Over, right? So this one is over, so this one goes over. Hug the body. To hug the body, I gotta come underneath it here. There's my pretzel. Pull. Okay, now under. So my arm goes under. This one's gonna go under. Hug the body. To hug that body, I'm gonna have to go through over top. There it is, see the pretzel? There's my pretzel. Pull the pretzel. Up, oi. It's got a little twist in it there. There it goes. Pull that pretzel. Sometimes, this is very thick cord, so sometimes it gets stuck up. <laughs> Just like some people I know. Okay, now, where was I? Was I, that was an over, right? Now this could be a mistake here. I might be doing that wrong but I think I was at an under on that last one. So now we go over, this goes over, hug your body, there's my pretzel. Yes, good. Okay, now I go under, this goes under, crosses over to hug the body, up it goes. I'm just gonna finish this all up here for us. Over, over. Okay, this one's under, under, up. Okay, and so now I'm at the bottom. This is my last stitch. So I'm gonna go over. It's a tiny little over. It's gonna come through this hole and pull, and that's it. Now, don't worry that I've got this extra here. That's completely fine. Now, to end it, what I'm gonna do, now this is a great thing I should, before I tell you, you can move this up and down on here and make it tighter or looser. So whatever you wanna do here, it's, it's great. You can make it tighter or looser as you, as you please. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to tie this end off here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a little knot all the way at the end, like this. This is why you have all that extra. Remember you had your wrist size and then I added three? That's because you needed this knot and you also need that at the end. Okay, so this has been tied off. It's last stitch. And you're probably saying, well, what do you do with all of this stuff? Well, I'm gonna show you. The wild thing about paracord because it has a plastic base. That's probably why it's so, so strong for such a, a thin piece of uh, cord. It's got plastic in it. And when you apply heat or fire, it's actually going to melt and, and like adhere to itself and then it'll tie itself off. It's really cool. I'll show you in just a second. So we've got this end tied off. We've got these two pieces. I'm just gonna snip, snip. And you can snip pretty darn close. Look, right there and right there. Now I'm gonna take it off of here. Now, this is a place where you will definitely need adult supervision. Never, ever, ever use fire by yourself. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna light it, and I'm just going to apply it to the ends right here. Great thing about this is that it will I don't know if you can see that, but it just melts in on itself. And here, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. Melt the other side. 
to make sure I got it. There we go. And that's it. Now, one thing I want to show you is how to actually put it on your bracelet, as a bracelet, put it on your wrist. So the way I learned, it took, it took me a while. The, the kid that I actually bought this from, I met at the Maker's Fair, and he just gave it to me like this and never told me how to put it on. And I, I was like, oh, do I tie it? What do I do? So finally, I figured it out. What you do is you take this loopy doop part, you stick it through the loopy doop part of here. So loopy doop, loopy doop, right? Bring this through, put it over your knot. And look at this. When you pull back, it's totally tight. It's not going to go anywhere. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's, it's basically, you know, gravity or friction or whatever it is. I need a science friend here to tell me. And that's it. That's how you make a paracord bracelet. So you can use uh, the thinner version if you want to, which is the 325, or you can use the 550. It comes in all these amazingly great colors. And like I said, I found mine at Joann's Fabrics. So I'm sure that you can find it online. Um, and you can put in paracord and you can find a lot of websites that have it as well. For more uh, ideas that won't leave you tied in knots, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.